Hello and welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2 with the Game of Thrones mod. This is still in the 2.2.1 version of Crusader Kings 2 with the 0 0.9... Is it 9.1? Um, mod. The newest patch as of this recording has not been uh, up uploaded yet, so I'm going to have to do some more of this. Let's go into custom game setup. I've got an idea what I'm going to do. Nothing too snazzy. It's going to be a bit more of a... Um, Role playing and peaceful playthrough. I'm going to go to Clash of Kings here. I'm going to click on uh, Winterfell. And we're going to go over here. You can use these dates to scroll down, so I'm going to do that. Yes, I want North. So, Eddard Stark. You can play as Eddard Stark in the peaceful times. You have all your vassals, everyone's alive. Ali's Hornwood is alive. Everyone's about. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. I'm going to be playing as Eddard in Winterfell. And uh, King Robert Baratheon. I forgot to set my timer. Oh well. Probably be an uh, extra minute or two on this episode. So yeah. I'm going to do a bit of a peaceful role playing one. I'm not going to look about expanding, starting any wars. Just going to be good old Eddard. Good old Ned. Targaryen's all dead or in ex exile. But that's scant consolation for the death of Lyanna, Brandon and Faster, uh, Father. At least Northmen now live in peace. So this is basically the start. No, it's not. He's a bit older. But yeah. Eddard is a peaceful man. He's got all his children. In this start, we've got Lord Rob. We got Ah, we haven't got Jon Snow. When does he go off there? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna restart. I want John. Quit the main uh, quit the main menu. Maybe we have to do about three ticks and we get John. Because that'd be uh Nice playing about with John, having him uh, around. Let's go back to single player. Go to custom game setup because we can. A clash of kings. Select here. Go back, back, back. So three years back. They should all be giddies. And have some stats at least, I hope. Turn my music up a bit. Can't hardly hear it. So long live Kong, uh, King Robert get this pop up again. Go to kids. Yes, so uh, Jon Snow is 13. He's a trained fighter. Lord Rob of the North is not currently trained in any skills of combat. We have Lady Sansa with no traits, which is a bit useless. We have Arya with no traits. Brandon with no traits. And Rickon is but a year old. So uh, Lord Rob, we're going to have to teach him up a bit because he's a bit useless. Right, let's pick an ambition. What do we want? Choose an ambition. We want to. What do we want to do? We're Eddard. I'm going to try and roleplay this. So, we don't want to improve intrigue. Screw that. Become honourable. Um, Paragon of Virtue. Amass wealth. Paragon of Virtue. Yeah, he wants to be known as an honourable man. So, who do we have? We have you. Your guardian is Hollis Mollen. Not anymore, it's not. Lord Rob will be sent down to the neck. We have a formidable fighter who has two wards. Um, what if we sent him to the... No, he's a Northman, he'll stay up north. Do we have Jorah moment? No, we don't have Jorah. Right, I suppose uh, Great John Umber. You have no wards? Very nice. So, Great John. I'm sending my son off to be uh, educated by you. No, my son. Uh, Rob Stark, send him over there. Hopefully uh, Great John will teach him up how to fight a bit. Try and get him uh, sorted out. Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Who should we get you educated by? Who's Jon friends with? Not really friends with anyone, is he? Jon will keep keep with us. For now. Deadfort, send him to Lord Bolton. Be friends with Ramsay. Very nice. Um, I'll probably send him to Jon Number as well. Nah, I'll just keep him. Send Rob off because Rob has no fighting skill, and I'm sure. What should we try not? I'm sure um, Great John Umber will be a lot better at teaching him how to fight than we will, because he's uh, more skilled. So we'll do that. We'll establish a household guard as well, because great, and we'll command them to drill the soldiers. Oh yes. We don't really want to go hunt. What do we want to do? Force Lord Rob to fight. 
And uh, Rob Stark's now brave. Very nice. Can we uh, teach him again? Send John to the wall. That is an option. We can send John to the wall. Or we can legitimise Jon Snow. Give him a cadet dynasty. Lose 120 prestige. What do we need? Has uh, at least 2,000 prestige. I need that lot. One of the following must be true. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Long live the king. We love him. Sure so over with uh, Great John Umber. John Snow. Who are we going to get you educated by? Myself. So, uh, educate child, John Snow by me. Um, what about Brandon? Is he of age to be educated yet? I think it's six, isn't it? Lady Sansa. I think what we will do is go to Robert down here. Find Geoffrey. And we will, unfortunately, betroth Sansa to Geoffrey. Because, uh, why wouldn't we want to do that? You have not married yet, Edmure? We also have... What else do we have? Vassals, Court... We have... Theon, don't we? Yes, we have Theon Greyjoy. We can marry him off to somebody. What about marrying him to the censor? Preferably a Stark. We can get our... Because he is the heir to... Dine Island, so we can dictate their dynasty. Arranging his uh, betrothal to Sansa, if I can beat, beat him to it. Yeah. So a betrothal you to Sansa. No. Matrilineal. Got that bit. Great betrothal. Screw you. Arrange betrothal between you and Sansa. Matrilineal. So Fionn will marry Sansa, and their children will be Starks, and Starks will be in charge of the Iron Islands. Very good. Which will also mean that you will not allow that. What's about? Is that... What else do you have in your court? Let's have a look. Joffrey, Elia Martell, and Tristan Martell. Why are they in your court? Forest of Mir. He's got quite a few guys. He's got all them lots. He's got Jahogbar, Hillen Payne, Sandor Clegane, Rickard Fell, Silver X. Lancel Lannister. Sandor Clegane, so you are unmarried, unkings guarded. Am I able to get you up north? No, can't get Clegane up north. Oh well. Bruce. We don't like you, do we, Bruce? We can plot to kill him or we can plot to kidnap him. Message about Educate Child. So you want Lady Sansa to be educated by Barristan the Bold. I don't think that's a good idea. I will have us send Brandon down to the King's Guard, if that's what he wants to be. I'll send him to a fighter, at least. Religion. Factions. What do we have? We have our own Legion Loyalists, because we're a nice bloke. Over here we have the Crown Loyalists. Prince of the series for the Iron Throne is Lady Stokeworth, or... What an idiot. Crown Loyalists. So we'll join the Crown Loyalists with Lord Paramount John. Because we love we love dear old uh, Robert. Do we not? So I do have Moat Kaelin. What am I going to do with Moat Kaelin? Get a few guys from it. I've got sons. I've got a brother, but he's in the Nuts Watch. So we won't be giving it to Benjin. Faith Militant is restored, so you're Commander Davos of the Poor Fellows. You're celibate and you're slow, but you can fight. Scandal indeed. Who's this? Joffrey. Ah! Received word of a great scandal from the Court of King's Landing. Apparently a group of conspirators have found evidence that Joffrey Lannister is not the child of King Robert, but the bastard of an illicit affair by Lady Cersei. King Robert was convinced and stripped Joffrey of inheritance and family name. So he's actually been banished, and Lord Jamie the Kingslayer imprisoned. L uh, Lady Cersei has already also run off. What about Tommen? So Tommen and Mycella are allowed to stay. So can we try and prove his legitimacy as well? Scandal indeed. But yours... Ah, he's divorced now, so he 
Robert will be looking for a new queen. Who do you want, Robert? Can we arrange a marriage on our side? King Robert to Arya. Just some random Arya. No. Arya. What about Sandor Clegane? Get him over here. Matrilineal. No. No, I will send, uh, send her over to Sandor. Sure, he'll uh, treat her nicely. Sandor Clegane has a wife. His brother is also married to Joanna Swift. Lucky her. He's already got a daughter who's 15, which is good for him. Because he has an heir. We can imprison somebody, can we? Who's that? Lord Fionn. No, your betrayal to our daughter will keep you very well. We want to get Starks of the Iron Islands. That'd be very, very good. Flint's finger. Who else do we want to poke around with? I'll travel to the wedding. Who are you marrying? Agaru of the North. Daughter of Stony Shore. All the way over there. You're marrying his daughter. Really? Oh, she must have been uh, attractive. Maybe, maybe she reminded him of Lyanna or something. All right, who's this then? Lady Arya. Um, I don't really have money, so we'll be saving that money for Bran. You will, however, be educated by somebody who isn't Scepter Mordain. Arya, educate child by. Who do we have? Maybe Lady Catelyn. She doesn't exactly have stats. Send her over to Roos. Hallis Hornwood. Rickard. No, we'll keep her, keep her safe. Maybe we'll leave her with Mordain. Scepter Mordain. Yeah, she's just some scepter. Ooh, might as well leave them all there. Lord Donald the Black has inherited Lordship of Flint Keep. From Torgan the Old. Flint Keep's over here. So you're Flint. There's quite a few Flints. You have this family of Flints. You have this family of Flints. And you have another one over here. Is it you? Yes, this family of flints. Inherited by a flint. Not good. Too many flints. Thank you for having us, indeed. How about Hallis onward? Your son is 20 and alive. Can we get you him married? We want to really make sure they continue. I don't have any women. Hallis onward. Don't know about um, You also have Lawrence Snow. Can I foster him from you? Educate child by me. I will uh, foster the the Hornwood bastard myself. We also have John, so he can be the bastard, the, the bastard squad. So he's now my my guy. Can we uh, we can send John to the wall, but I don't really want to do that. Send John in hiding. No, commissioner sculpture. Show me the dragons. I definitely want to teach him how to fight, but maybe that's not an option. A fine tradition. I should really set up my council, shouldn't I? So what have we got? Uh, Castellan Veynon uh, Veynonpool, who died in the show, if you're watching the first series. Garrison size, plus that much. Four level, plus that much. Tax modifier. We'll go for tax modifier. Cash is lovely. Master of Laws, the guy of Dawn Forest, Lord Mullen. You will improve diplomacy. So descent between me and not Roos Bolton. So descent. What's going on here? Are we lagging out? No. Do we want to so descent between anyone in front? No. What about improved diplomatic relations with one of my guys, perhaps? Fabricate claims. We don't really want that. Improve diplomatic relations. How about fabricate claims on the dread fort and we can see if we can revoke it. Um, Master Times, Great John Umber, can you train the children here, please? Uh, collect taxes. Can you do that here, Lord Roderick of the North? Is that Roderick Cassell? It is indeed. The Knight, Faith of the Seven. You traitor. Master Laws, uh, Master Whispers, I mean, Reese Bolton, you'll be replaced by Lord Wyman. 
who will scheme in your house. So we are plotting against the uh, Boltons because of their history. Who did he marry? A Ricewell. Fine proposal, I'll see it done. So, uh, that nobody has been designated as Regent for the North. So she wants to be Regent of the North, Lady Barbara. No, in fact, you shouldn't have Lord Dustin's land. By uh, by Game of Thrones, or by Crusade, uh, yeah, Crusade Kings, Game of Thrones. Must have 200 prestige before I can start revoking titles. Can we imprison her? No, we really want her to uh, fall out of us so we can try and get that land, because we can't have Ricewell having two high lordships. We need Barrowton. What should I do? We'll just leave it for now. Because her heir is her father, that's not really good. We don't want one guy having two places. Usually in Game of Thrones, when a duchy such as the Hornwood would go absent of a ruler, there would be several candidates. Such as, like, the wife, her her lineage, other people's lineages where they've married into the family before. Or a bastard, or something like that. So Lord Brandon Snow will be green for command. Are you sure he'll be green for command? Well, I suppose he'll have to be. This is Brandon Stark. Axe, the noble he is. Good. Good old proud uh, Lawrence Snow of House Hornwood. There's now four members of Hornwood. Oh, you've got a sister. No, it's your wife. Yes, your sister. She's Hornwood. Yeah, so like she would be a candidate for the uh, the area. Either way, I'm now in a deficit, so we need cash. What's this? Unmarried heir, so Lord Rob Stark is unmarried. He's still guardian under there. When we have Lord Brandon lacking a uh, educator, so. Lord Brandon, do you want to get educated here? I think you do. As you uh, do have a lot of fun with the reads in show. So, yeah, why not? We'll send uh, Brandon Stark over to Lord Howland Reed. So you can go meet up with the Reed kids. As for you getting married, not yet. Either way, ending the episode here. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying a bit more of a slow-paced series. Um, yep, just hope the new mod patch comes out soon so I can stick a random house on the own throne. Anyway, see you then. Goodbye.